Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to show how we can execute mass transformations of multiple objects. Okay, let's start. Let's use what we have on screen to illustrate the process. Basically, what I want to do is to create multiple cylinders that are concentric about various holes and they also have to be scaled to let's say 90% the diameter of these holes. We can do that by individually creating the curves on each hole and scaling the curve down and do the extrusion. Or we can execute mass transformations of objects for faster creation process, which will be what I'm going to demonstrate now. So I think what I'm going to do now is to firstly uh, hide these existing objects and I'm going to duplicate the edges of these holes using the duplicate edge command. I press enter. So I got like various circles and you notice that if I were to try to scale them now using the gumball to let's say 0 0.9 or 90% of the original size you'll notice that the result is not desirable as the circles although scaled are not positioned correctly in terms of their actual location so this is not the way to do it i'm going to press the ctrl z to undo and show you the proper way to do it the proper way to scale these circles about their own center is to use the box edit okay so i'm going to type box edit press enter and now you notice that there's a new dialog box appearing which gives us a lot of control of how we can perform mass transformations of the selected objects in this case here all these circles okay we can see that on the box edit dialog box there are various parameters that you can transform for example the size scale position and the rotation and for this example i will be using the scale okay and you notice over here we got the um, rest options to locate the pivot position okay you can use the bounding boxes use the gumball or use the blocks instant use insertion points okay you can see uh let me just show this again okay if I, if I click the use bounding box you can see that the pivot point or rather the pivot location is being um positioned via this method if i click the use gumball you can see that the pivot location is using the gumball here and if you use the block instance use insertion point this portion here will be highlighted that allows for a detailed reposition of the individual objects about their own boundary range corresponding to the x y and the z axis okay uh, let me try to explain this further using the block instances use insertion point for example, if I were to select the X minimum, okay, if I click on the minimum, you can see that the um, pivot point is now placed on the minimum value along the X axis. You can see over here from the coordinate system indicator over here that uh, this is the minimum value in terms of x-axis for this object okay and you can see the placement is also the same 
for the other objects that are selected and if i were to click on the maximum for the x-axis you can see that it's moved here and the same goes uh, with the other selected objects okay but what i want is actually this place for all the individual objects so i'm going to click uh, on the x option the center and you can see that it's moving along the along the x axis it moves to the center of the object okay and i'm going to do the same for the y axis and the z axis as well so for the y axis i'm going to click on the center and you notice it moves to the center and on the z i can click to the center as well and now you notice that all the individual pieces have their pivot uh, location being centralized to their own bounding box center so yeah this is actually the option that i, I need and now that i have accurately positioned their pivot centers i can proceed to do the scaling okay so uh, with the uniform being enabled i'm going to scale this to 0 0.9 press enter and you can see that the objects has been scaled to 90 percent of the original size about their own center okay and now that i'm satisfied with the result i can click the apply and close the dialog box okay you can see that they are now uh, transformed correctly and i can proceed to do the other um, processes in the case here i want to extrude these curves using the extrude close planner curve and i'm going to extrude them downwards let's say minus three okay press enter okay and you notice that the cylinders has been created okay correctly about their center using this form of um collective transformation okay with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye